Hey everyone, welcome. This is your old buddy Chuck, um, better known as Mr. Venture in DC Universe Online, also on Steam and Uplay, uh, pretty much everywhere. Um, so I've decided to make a video today with a purpose, with a meaning behind it for once. Um, they say necessity is the mother of all invention, and I feel this really needs to be said. Um, okay, recently, for its anniversary spectacular, DC Universe Online has offered every player the chance to boost one of their characters up to CR 100. Uh, that would look like this, because this is basically some of the styles you get. I made one um, of the last power set I didn't have a character for, which was munitions. I literally have one character for every power set. This way, I know every single power set in the game. How it works, and also when I see other people using it, I know if they're using it right or not. Um, it helps to know everyone's pain, uh, to better guide them. So, here's the problem I'm noticing. The game is flooded, flooded with a bunch of inexperienced players who are CR 100 and don't know the basics of the game. Now, of course, the developers of the game do nothing to help with this situation, even though I've written it a couple of times now in the forums asking for video tutorial. So new players come as soon as they're able to do a support role, perhaps a little video plays. I remember seeing the same kind of thing in Champions Online a long time ago, so I don't know why they can't do it here. But, long story short, since they can't do it, I'm going to do it. Alright? So, this is my main character, Mr. Venture. He's Gadgets. He has a DPS mode, and what you're looking at right now is his Troller mode. So, let's dive in. Well, here we are. This is Mr. Venture, my main tune. I've been playing with him for about three or four years, something like that. Um, this is his troller mode. He does have a DPS mode, but we're concentrating on support roles because this is what we desperately need more of in the game. Um, so let's start. A troll. What does a troll do? Uh, troll, first of all, is short for controller. So uh, by definition, you control the battlefield, which I assume is supposed to be like Batman. Batman is the controller of the Holy Trinity of Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. And uh, yeah, he controls. He, he increases or decreases the team's chances of winning, believe it or not. How? I'm going to show you how. First, the basics. Two things every troll must have. First, you need to throw a move that gives your team power over time. You'll notice a lot of people call this pot. They're not talking about marijuana, they're talking about power over time. So how does power over time work? Well, there, we've got our little guy. Now, if you look down at my loadout, my first move is Sticky Bomb. Now, you can have whatever move you want. Even Taser Pull does the job. It's really up to you, but what you need is any move that provides power over time. Now, how do you know which moves provide power over time? It's pretty simple. You go here, you go to your powers, go to your power tree. Now look, taser pull. Let's see. On the left, read what is here. It is very useful. It might seem like a lot and it might seem confusing, but give it a read. It'll make sense the more you read it. And under power interactions, you see control role. Restores power to group members over time. So. You just need a move that does that. I throw mine. Oh, oh. Now, look closely at the top left corner of the screen. See how there's this little green lightning bolt icon underneath my power and health meters? That means power over time is on. While power over time is on, your teammates will get little ticks of power. They're called ticks. Ah, and now if you look, it has disappeared. When it disappears, that means it's time to throw pot again. Like that. Now the team is receiving power over time. 
your primary role as a controller is to make sure that green lightning bolt is always up. Number two, you need a move that spams power. You'll often see people saying, oh, spam power to the healer, spam power to the healer. Well, spamming power is a move that in the explanations, let's go straight to them actually. Uh, let's see here, tactics. Where's my defibrillator? There you go. Whatever move you want, again, but you just need a move that, let's see, instantly revitalize your group's three most fatigued members. This is great for alerts. That means everyone gets power. Restoring power. Also increases your might and precision for a short time. So, considering that it increases your might and precision for a short time, that's also useful to indicate if you've done it or not. So let's, let me use my defibrillator and let's again look at the top left of the, sc of the screen and look under my name. Oh, look at that. I've got green icons indicating that my precision and my might were increased and it's gone. See that animation one more time. Look at the animation on Mr. Venger himself. When it wears off, there'll be sort of a light. There you go, look at that. That's how you know it's worn off and ready to be used again. Finally, the last job of a controller. Controller must debuff the enemy to increase your team's chances of defeating that enemy. Many players don't know how much that helps. There are three debuffs. I personally use Gauze Grenade to lower an enemy's defense. And if you look again at the top, to the right of my bar, you'll see the sparring target's health, the enemy. When I threw the Gauze Grenade, a little red shield came up, meaning that his defense is now down. If he buffed himself and there was a little green shield by throwing gauze grenade, it'll turn into a red shield. So anything the enemy tries to do to make themselves stronger or more resilient, you gotta bring that back down. Just like steam powered Batman says in the return to the Nexus, no, not, no, Nexus. Uh, he says, one of his audio clips says, this should minimize your effectiveness because he's debuffing. That's what Batman does. He minimizes the effectiveness of his enemies to take them out better. So we went over that. Another one that I personally like is the sleep dart because the sleep dart will reduce the enemy's ability to do damage. Now you have a little red reticle there, a little target. That means that his ability to do damage is now decreased. One more time. And let's not forget the crowd control element of this. See how the enemy is asleep? Now he's a prime target for all your DPS to just jump on and destroy. Just like this. Incapacitated. Some moves interact. We'll save that for a different day. Uh, and the last one uh, was the one that I just used. Actually, the cryofoam you'll see a red heart. That means the enemy can now not heal themselves. They are unable to heal. Sometimes you'll see boss enemies whose health goes back up. You better have this equipped. Now, you don't have to have it equipped all the time, but you better know what you're getting into. I personally keep my loadout with every possible debuff, a pot and a spam, so that no matter what situation, I don't have to go into my menu. I'm ready for anything. Like the Batman once said, it helps to be prepared. So I hope this video helped you all with the basics of being a controller. And uh, I guess I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.